Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, having camera issues. So um, you guys get the little circle that moves when I talk. <laughs> I apologize, but most of this is gonna be a screen share anyway, so not a huge deal. This is a Mercari Bolo video, and I have 43 Bolos coming your way. Items you can buy low and sell high, or items that you can buy low and sell for good profit margins. Um, my channel, if you're new here, is based on items to be on the lookout for. Uh, definitely check out my other videos. I have Poshmark videos, eBay videos. I have featured seller videos where I feature other people um, and their bolo. So it's a great way to learn. I have category videos where you um, can learn about a specific category like office supplies or board games. Um, gosh, uh, Christmas, just tons of category videos. So you can definitely go check that out. And I mainly sell on eBay, but I also cross post to Poshmark and Mercari. I use list perfectly for that. And I'll try to remember to put a video at the end of, um, this video, like it'll pop up. And it's, it'll be a list perfectly demo video where I show you how to use list perfectly to cross post. It's fantastic. And if you're interested in trying that, I have an affiliate coupon code that you can use and you can get 30% off your first month of list perfectly. How awesome is that? So you guys get your items on other platforms, sell more stuff, get different eyes on your items. It's definitely, definitely worth it. All right, let's get started with these Mercari Bolos and I am loving Mercari. I also love shopping on Mercari. And you know, that's one thing about cross posting your stuff to other places is I was um, a big eBay shopper until I started selling on Mercari. <clears throat> and I do, I buy on Poshmark also, also, but man, I love buying on Mercari. Speaking of Mercari, I just got a cha-ching. So, um, and if you guys are, selling on Mercari, but you're not selling on eBay. Oh my goodness. Let me make sure I'm screen sharing here. You guys are missing out because I sell so much more on eBay than any other platform, but I do enjoy selling on the other platforms because it brings in different buyers. Okay. So these items were listed on Poshmark and eBay also, and they sold quicker on Mercari. All right, so this is a Barbie hot pink Scooby-Doo accessories set. And this came with like the Barbie. So it's just the accessories. I sold these for $14. And um, the, I'm sorry, I usually do free shipping on Mercari. So $14 with free shipping. And Mercari used to take only 10%, but they've added on a processing fee. So I think it's gonna be more around like 13%. Don't quote me on that. Definitely go in and actually look at um, the details um, of that because it's new. It might be like 2.9% plus a 30 cent something. I don't know, it's new, so. The next item I sold is this American Girl Doll Salon Style Center. Sat on eBay forever. And I sold it for $22 with free shipping. The next item I sold is this Lego Friends set, which I actually need to go in and rate my buyer so that I can get paid for this. Um, if you don't know about my Lego story, I bought a bunch of Legos and they were in the boxes like this, in the bags. And um, I, I felt like I needed to check them. So I started checking two of the bigger sets and I ended up selling them, but it took me so much time. And on these, I did not do it. Um, I just put in the description, I have no clue if these sets are complete. I'm guessing they are not complete. <laughs> so I was just completely honest with what happened. And, you know, I just, I couldn't take it anymore. I could not do like another 10 hours of Lego sorting. No way. So I just sold all of these for $126 and the buyer did pay shipping on that one because it was a bigger box. The next item I sold is this Mickey Mouse costume. I sold it for $17. I picked this up at a, I believe this was from a garage sale. 
and I bought a whole bunch of stuff. And so I probably had like a buck in it and it sold for 17 free shipping. The next item I sold. <laughs> okay. So you guys know how people make those beautiful displays. Well, this is my failed attempt at a beautiful display. I mean, seriously, like I am just not good at it. I tried to make it like pretty. I tried to get the necklaces to hang just right. Oh man, I failed. But it sold super quick and it actually sold to a subscriber. And I threw in some extras for her and she left me the nicest feedback, said it was the best purchase she has ever made on Mercari. And I'm like, that is so sweet. But um. Yeah, and I wrapped it in a shirt, like a not a shirt, a dress that was new with tags so she could sell that also. I knew I knew she was a reseller because she watches my channel and um so yeah, so I just gave her some extras. But yeah, I sold this for $64 with free shipping. I do have another lot that's listed that's kind of set up like this and then I also have a 16 pound lot that's listed also. The next item I sold is this Good Night Moon board game. I picked this up at a garage sale and I sold it for $35 free shipping. And I want to say I paid like a buck for it, maybe two. Can't remember. Uh, the next item I sold was this Build a Bear clothing lot. And I sold this for $60 free shipping. And I sold this brawl that I picked up at a garage sale for 50 cents. And you can see here it's got, I mean, I don't even think it had ever been worn. Um, I mean, there's no signs of where it was with. Um, there was another one in there that I think was brand new. So um, I did get it at a garage sale. But you can usually tell when something's been washed, especially on the tag. So uh, this sold for $22 with free shipping. The next item I sold is this Bratz Boys doll. And here he is. He's got his comb. And I picked him up, I think, in a bulk toy lot. And I sold him for $25 free shipping. The next item I sold are these Lala Lopsy, I think is how you say it. It's a draft and two minifigures. Uh, I think this was in a mystery box and it came with the big play set, but the play set was so big. And by the time I charged shipping, I was like, eh. So I just went ahead and sold the, the little mini figures for $15 free shipping. The next item I sold is this Disney Minnie Mouse Tinkerbell pin. Um, I bought a bunch of Disney pens at a garage sale. And then I also picked them up for like 50 cents to a buck at garage sales from time to time. I think this was, uh, I think this was a 50 cent one and I sold it for 15 free shipping. The next item I sold is this American girl, bitty baby mixed lot. And it had some of the, um, the clothing and the different accessories. I did have like a small bag of items that were stained. And I just put in the description, I said, I will include a few clothes clothing items uh, with stains for free. Maybe you can get the, the stains out. You know, I was like, I don't want to throw them out just because they're stained. If a little kid has this doll, they might be fine if it has a little stain on it. So I just went ahead and shipped it and they were super excited to get the extras. The next item I sold are these Bitty Baby Twins sweater hat sets. And I bought these with this lot, but these were really cute. And I looked them up and decided that these would be better off selling separately. And I sold these for $26 with free shipping. This guy is 16 inches tall. Rampage the Gorilla. Um, he's, from, uh, he's from the movie Rampage, I believe. And he's George the Gorilla. And I've sold the smaller action figure. So I knew that the little one was a bolo. So I figured the big one would be a bolo. And I sold him for $80. And I believe I picked him up for five bucks at a garage sale. The next item I sold is this Mary Meyer Tippy Toes Finger Puppet. How cute is this? You put your fingers in the back and you make it walk. And I got this at a garage sale. I think it was like 50 cents. And I sold it for $18 and free shipping. The next item I sold is this Shopkins Cutie Car. Um, I picked this up at a thrift store. I believe it was a dollar. And I sold it for $12 with free shipping. Anytime I can get new old stock toys um, or discontinued toys, they don't have to be super old. But
but in the original packaging, um, I try to pick those up because they normally sell. This is a bread and butter item, but nonetheless, it sold quick and it was only a dollar. These vintage Tupperware Tupper Toy stencils. I was super excited about these. These are a bolo, but mine did have, um, let me see if I can find it. Some of them like right here on the number one, they weren't, they were used and visibly used. So I did mark mine lower and I sold these for $18 with free shipping. And I believe these were a um, dollar at a thrift store. The next item, I, I will lot up toys like this. And to me, it's like um, the parent will come and buy this and just give it to their kid to play with. <laughs> like go through the box. It's like a mystery box for kids. Um, I've been doing this with toys because I'm finding so many toys at garage sales and stuff and I buy them in bulk. I have also had, I believe, resellers that sell toys buy these from me and maybe they know about something in here that I don't, um, that I may have missed out on. Maybe I, there's a small bolo in there or maybe there's some items in here that would sell for 10 or $15 each on their own. I don't know. But I sold this for $40 with free shipping and I was happy with that. And if a reseller bought it, awesome. The next item I sold is this Lane Bryant jean skirt. And I sold this for $27 with free shipping. This is a part of that massive pile that I have sitting in that closet that I need to list. I've been trying to find somebody to um, hire to list it for me. Um, I do have one gal that does consignment for me and she's getting ready to take another um, load for me. And I do a 50-50 split with her. So basically when the item sells, uh, she takes out the fees and then we just do a 50-50 split. So um, that's one option. And then I was even considering maybe paying somebody to list for me um, just to help me because I don't wanna list clothes anymore. I'm so like done with clothing. But I've got to figure out something. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments if you um, are, are using that method. Maybe how, how do you guys do it? How do you pay someone to do it? Is it an hourly rate? Are you paying per item? Are you doing consignment? Put, your, put that info down in the description. I would appreciate it. The next item I sold is this Funko. Oh, I always say it wrong. Is it Funko? Funko? I don't know what it is. Uh, five nights of Fre at Freddy's. It's a cupcake. And I knew that this one um, was one that is a little bit harder to find. And I sold this for $27 free shipping. The next item I sold are these twins because there's two of them and they match. So I called them twins. And I got that little tip from Donatella Bodolino. You guys should definitely go check out her channel. She does uh, YouTube um selling events. So she'll have like auctions and buy it nows and different things for resellers. And it's great ways to get inventory to resell. Um, I have her channel linked down in the description of the video. And she is also on auctions for you. And it's auctions, the number four capital U. And that is T's channel. And she does auctions. And then she also has special guests that come on and you guys can find some major deals over there. So definitely go check them out. Again, the links are down below. But I sold these Boyd's Bears for $29 free shipping. I picked them up at a garage sale for a couple bucks. This is a vintage Brown Stove Works cast iron skillet. It's just very, very small. Um, what, three and a half inches? And I sold this for $28 free shipping. And it is cast iron. The next item I sold is another toy lot. This is a lot of 26 Disney minifigures. And I sold this for $50 with free shipping. And again, a reseller might have bought this to part out. The next item I sold is this vintage 1983 lamb chop puppet dandelion. And cute, cute, cute. And I picked this up at a garage sale. And the person that was having the garage sale, I think they had like a booth. And they also sold on eBay. So I was actually surprised that they were selling this so cheap. I want to say I paid $3 for it. And I sold it for $71 with free shipping. Definitely a bolo. The next item I sold are these Cat's Meow Village pieces. This is a lot of 21. 
and I bought a whole bunch of cat's meow items. Um, gosh, I would say three boxes full for 30 bucks. I got a steal of a deal. And um, it was one of those situations where they wanted it gone and I was happy to take them. I will say I did not really enjoy listing them, but when I sold this, I was very happy. I sold this for $100 free shipping. The next item I sold are these Michael Kors shoes. I picked these up at a garage sale for $5 and I sold them for $43 free shipping. The next item I sold is this American Girl, I think it's Kaya, Kaya's Pet Wolf Husky Dog. And I sold this for $23 with free shipping. And I always pick up the American Girl pets. This came from a garage sale. I bought a whole bunch of American Girl stuff all together. And so I got this probably for a buck or less. The next item I sold, I, uh, I do well with these on Mercari. These are the Ann Gettys baby dolls. Um, this one's a butterfly. And the last one I sold was a butterfly. And I think I have another butterfly somewhere that's bigger than I need to list. But these do really well for me. I sold this for $24 with free shipping and I picked it up for like a buck at a garage sale. The next item I sold is this Squish Mallow Sloth Simon Hug Knees Plush. New with tags. I picked it up at a thrift store. I want to say I paid two or three bucks for this one. But it was new with tags and it's super cute. It's a sloth. I mean, come on. I sold it for $28 free shipping. The next item I sold is this Thomas the Tank Engine Train Conductor. You guys, he is miniature. And I sold him for $12 with free shipping. I don't know. Something just told me I need to list this separately. Just the bread and butter, but it sold pretty quick. The next item I sold is this Octonauts Octopad Replacement Basket. So people that have these play sets, they lose a basket and they need it. So I sold this basket for $13 free shipping. The next item I sold are these VTech GoGo -Go Smart Friends. It's a lot of 18. And I sold these for $72 with free shipping. And these little characters fit on, they like sit on these things and they talk. So you push their belly and they like say things. So yeah, pretty cute. The next item I sold is this Under Armour Camo Hat. Oh, I can't, I want to say I got this at a garage sale for like a buck or two and I sold it for $20 free shipping. The next item I sold are these Brave Disney Store um, or Disney Store Brave Children's Flatware. This came from a garage sale. I either paid 50 cents or a dollar for it. I can't, can't remember, but it's the three bears from the Brave movie, the triplets. And I sold this for $16 with free shipping. The next item I sold is this Leapfrog Fridge Phonics Word Whammer. And if you guys have not checked out Dad Planet, go check him out. That's where I learned about the Word Whammer. And um, he's he does a lot of Bolo videos also. But I sold this for $40 with free shipping. The next item I sold is this Victoria's Secret Pink Mini Dog Skeleton. And I picked this up at a garage sale. I bought a whole bunch of Victoria's Secret dogs. Um, so I probably have a dollar or less than this and I sold it for $17 free shipping. This Yoshi Super Mario plush from 2010, I sold for $18 free shipping. I always pick up anything that is Nintendo and plush. It seems to do pretty well. The next item I sold is this Build-A-Bear Boo shirt. It's a Halloween shirt for a Build-A-Bear. And I sold this for $12 free shipping. And I picked this up in a big lot of Build-A-Bear items. So I probably have like, I don't know, 25 cents in it. These vintage Fisher Price Little People. I sold these for $14 free shipping. I think these might have been in a mystery box. The next item I sold are these vintage Barbies. Um, but they are the McDonald's toys. And if you guys have not checked out my Bolo category video on Happy Meal toys, definitely go check that out. Some of those will surprise you. I sold these for $16 free shipping. These are the boots that went with, I think it was my first thing. Yeah, that went with this, uh, the Scooby-Doo. So the doll was Daphne and these were her boots. And I sold these separately for $9 free shipping. The next item are these Mattel, Alvin, and the Chipmunks Chipettes. And these are minifigures. 
Uh, I picked these up at a garage sale. I'm guessing I probably had a dollar or less in them and I sold them for $22 with free shipping. And the last item is this Funko Five Nights at Freddy Foxy Plush. And I sold this for $17 free shipping. All right, you guys, comment below. Let me know what you think. What's your favorite bolo? Uh, thanks for being here. And that uh, list perfectly video should be popping up any minute. And you guys can click on that and check it out. Again, um, if you use affiliate coupon code Bolo Buddies, all one word, that will get you 30% off your first month of lists perfectly. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And have an awesome night. Thanks for watching.